so iOS 12 was finally released today. Uh, after being uh, announced just last June, it's finally out and of course following Apple's cycle as they do every single year. The first thing to notice about it is of course the brand new wallpaper. The brand new wallpaper is of course the stock now iOS 12 wallpaper that is this very interesting kind of gradient, weird shadowy reflection kind of thing which I kind of like. Although Apple did not say anything about it, I realized that my AirPods actually connect better. Before iOS 12, I had the issue where my AirPods would randomly disconnect for absolutely no apparent reason. But now after upgrading to iOS 12, I have not had any of those issues. And it's been really nice because I've been on the beta for the last couple months and all of my AirPod issues thankfully have been finally fixed. So props to Apple for finally making that a thing. One of the cool things new about iOS 12 is the new player on the lock screen. So if we go ahead and play something, it's now black instead of the default regular gray color. Another cool thing about iOS 12 is the new group notifications. It groups notifications based on what app they came from, so you can easily be able to see notifications from certain apps so you're not scrambling through all of your notifications that are all random and you really won't know what the heck to watch and what is just completely, you know, not important information. So Apple's very now uh, about screen time and showing which apps you spend the most time in and how long you're spending on each app. So I can see for today, I have been on my phone for six hours and 15 minutes. And then if I scroll down here, I can see I have four pickups on average per hour. Today, I've gotten 136 notifications in total. Each of the apps run down. And you can also set limits so that you don't pick up your device as much and it will actually limit you. I personally have not done this, but it is something that you can do. Another new feature is do not disturb during bedtime. So if I go ahead and schedule my do not disturb for, let's just say, I don't know, uh, 1 p.m. up until 2.29. So I can see my device is on do not disturb on, uh, while, while sleeping or do not disturb during bedtime, I guess you could kind of call it. So I can see here, calls will be silenced and notifications will appear in Notification Center. So it's called Do Not Disturb During Bedtime. And if I scroll down, I can see my notifications. But if we just wait up until uh, 2.30, you will notice that it will actually give us a rundown of all the notifications that we missed during our bedtime. All right, so if I go ahead and go onto my device, I can see here, it will tell me good afternoon. It will tell me the current weather, the high today. Uh, let's see, it also shows the um, outlook just for the day. So I can see it's gonna be partly cloudy today with a low of 78 at my current location. And if I just go ahead and tap the screen, it dismisses that. Right here, I can see a notification um, that was sent during bedtime. So it'll be on the top and then other notifications will be in the bottom that were just received yesterday or at another time. So coming later this fall, iOS 12 will let you FaceTime with up to 32 people at once. I'm obviously unable to test this because it is coming out later this fall and not available in the current GM of iOS 12. Also, you can of course create your Animoji of yourself new in um, iOS 12 called Mimoji. So if I go ahead and jump into here and I select the Mimoji, I have two that I just randomly tried to create. So I have this one <laughs> of me, which is the first one, and then the second one, which was just like actually like testing it just to see how to do anything. So um, here, <laughs> here's the, uh, the second one that I just tested, and then one of my friends tried to make one, so there's that. So it's really kind of cool. The Apple calls it Memoji, and you can make pretty much an Animoji of yourself, which is kind of cool. And uh, it can also now track your tongue if you, uh, if you show your tongue, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, so there's Apple really spends a ton of time on the iOS 10 or on the iPhone 10 with Animoji. So new in iOS 12, you can actually apply effects to your face as you are on a FaceTime call. So I can go ahead and be an Animoji while I'm talking to my friend Matt. Matt, say hi. <laughs> so there you go. So you can apply effects to your FaceTime calls while you're on FaceTime. It's kind of cool. If you're getting too many notifications from a specific app, you can swipe right to left and hit manage. And right here I can see Snapchat manage notifications. I can instantly turn them off from here. I can go ahead and deliver them quietly instead of actually uh, vibrating my phone or turning it on. Um, and I can of course go into settings and edit more information about settings whether I want banners, notification center, or lock screen, like the style, or sounds, or badges, all of that right from um, that notification. So we can go ahead and edit everything about the specific notification from the notification instead of having to search through settings to find all these settings, which is kind of cool. Another really cool feature about iOS 12 is you are able to fill codes. You know those apps that ask you like, um, you know, verify this code with uh, by text by receiving a text. Yeah, so it's really pretty cool because those codes can now automatically be confirmed. They will come up in the top of the predictive text bar, and it's really pretty cool.
Safari will now automatically suggest stronger passwords for you. So if you're creating an account and Safari detects that, it will automatically uh, generate a random password and remember it on your iCloud account. So if you try and log in on your Mac or another iOS device, it will auto -fill. Well, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name, of course, is Brian Becker, and I'll see you all in the next video coming out on Friday, all about the iPhone XS. See you then.